What's up, Hawks? Today is March 29th, 2018, and we have a lot of important news. So, TD, take it away with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, Hawks, we have some really extra super duper important announcements to get your way so kick back relax and pay close attention although we gave them a little shout out yesterday we want to do them even more justice and head into an interview with skills usa member miranda schiff on how the weekend went Hey Miranda, so we know you guys just got back from Skills USA. Can you give us some insight on how the weekend went? Well, Skills, Skills USA excuse me, went really well. We drove down there, watched some silly movies on the bus, um, got down there, uh, settled into our hotels pretty well, um, kind of just hung out the first night, uh, went out to eat, which was a lot of fun, was all just joking around. Uh, next morning was pretty nice with us competing. Uh, competition went pretty well. Um, pretty much just some meetings. The next day was a lot more competition. Did pretty well in those two, and the last day was a pretty much was an award ceremony. So overall, it wasn't too intense, but it was still a lot of fun. Us Hawks had some big winners down there. Who were they, and what did they win? And what did they win? So uh, our winners down there were. Um, ben Brooks and Sarah Vreeman, they got first, Ben got uh, first place in auto, uh, auto support tech, and Sarah got first place in pin design. Um, our quiz bowl team got third. Um, Hutch swept the pin design contest, getting first, second, and third. And Ryan Casey got second in drop interview. <laughs> so. Lastly, Miranda, what would you like to say to the people who might be interested in Skills USA next year? Anyone who's interested in Skills USA next year should definitely be ready, be thinking of what could possibly happen in their in their competition, and be generally well-rounded in whatever they're going into because they do kind of pull some obscure or some kind of random things to kind of test your knowledge. So just be prepared, and it's a lot of fun. So don't be shy. All right, well, thanks, thanks, Alyssa. Miranda. Well, thanks, Miranda, and congratulations to you and all of the other Skills USA members on a successful weekend. Well, Skills, Skills USA excuse me, went really well. We For all you Arts AV kids and those interested, there will be a stream team meeting during lunch on the 10th of April. This meeting is a recap of the year, some announcements about graduation, and handing out t-shirts. Well, out of the way of the news, here's something we all love. Yep, it's time for another Throwback Thursday Fine Edition. So hold on, because we're not kitten when we say today's segment is furry funny. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Wow, those were purry funny, but we've got to get back into the news right meow. Well, Hawks, have you ever been watching the Hawk Hit News and thought to yourself, I could totally do a better job than Alyssa? Well, now is your chance to put your money where your mouth is, as the Hawk Hit News is holding open auditions for next year's anchor position. That's right, in an HHS first time, Hawk Hit News and the Arts AV Cluster is inviting any outgoing student that wants to be the face of our program the chance to join. You do not have to have any prior experience, or any prerequisites to join our team. So if you're looking to get your 15 minutes of fame, well, actually, I guess that would be 15 minutes of fame each week, 
Then go and see Mr. Johnson for more information. The official auditions will be the 19th of April, so get signed up today. One of the great perks of being the Hawk Hit News Anchor is that you get a chance to tell students great news like this following announcement. Students, next week is testing week. Okay, so this is actually only good news for the juniors and seniors. Regardless, we will be having a modified bell schedule next week to accommodate for testing, so listen up so you know where to be. Starting off Monday will be a totally normal day, so that one is easy. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all of you members of the class of 2021 and 2020 will be at various locations around the school taking the state-mandated PEAKS test. This, of course, begs the question, what do juniors and seniors do? Well, that is the great news. During that testing period, all teachers will be available for student support, SSP. I know almost all of us can use some extra support in one class or another, so juniors and seniors should show up and check in with the classes they need help. It's our last really great chance to get our grades beefed up before the warm weather hits and we all spend afternoons hanging outside rather than doing homework. After testing in the bonus SSP session, there will be a mandatory SSP period where you have to check in with your regular SSP teacher. All that will lead us into a much needed lunch break. Following the break, there will only be enough time left for two classes, so here's where you will need to go. Tuesday, you will go to periods one and three. Wednesday, periods two and four. And Thursday, you'll wrap up the sixth class tour with three and six. The, week's, the week ends Friday with a regular old six period day. So there you have it, your modified schedule for next week. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles today, guys. Let's wish a big happy birthday to Ethan Wilson. We hope you all have an awesome weekend, and as always, stay flat.